Hey there, alright, remember how yesterday I said that I was kind of pissed off, but also kind of tired, so it was sort of like my, um, my will to destroy the world was kind of staved off by just, like, my lack of will to do anything? Yeah, well, guess what? I'm more pissed and less, and less tired, so rather than actually destroying everything, why don't I channel my anger into something comedic? But, yeah, my, I, my, my role has been deflated. Alright, look, here's the thing. I have something very specific I want to talk to, I want to talk about in today's ramble, actually. And that is, um, usually my rambles are a little bit less focused than this, but, um, and honestly, this might be a positive change. I, um, there's one thing and one thing only, and I actually, I have a, I have a thing here. Like, kind of a, um, a prop. Well, I don't know. Basically, it's, my, my rule for rambles is usually that in order for me to call a video a ramble, it has to not... I have to not write anything down beforehand. That's kind of that's the criteria. If I write, if I have to write something down in the process of making it, then it's not. It's it has to be something else. I have to title it. I can't put ramble in the title. But um, making exception for this one because um, the uh, the written stuff is kind of in integral to the story. So just bear with me. But um, I figured this would kind of help with the transparency of just what I've actually written down. The rest is it's just freestyle. Um. But regardless, so I was uh, I was just kind of sick of the day. I don't even know. Um, like nothing particularly bad happened. It was just kind of one of those things where like my my that my less than satisfactory mood has kind of persisted with me over a stretch of several days. But um, the the one thing that happened today was um I I got home I got home and well this wasn't really that bad. But um I just so I was gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because well that's just apparently I'm in kindergarten and I like eating peanut butter. No, I feel like. Grown people eat. Well, it's it's like wrestlers or elementary school students that eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is kind of what I f figured. And since I was a, like once a wrestler, always a wrestler, I will always have a love for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But um, so I'm I'm going into the pantry and I'm getting some of my some of my Kirkland signature peanut butter because that's what we that's what we eat at my house. We eat Kirkland signature things. And um, so yeah, I um I went to go peel. Um, the problem was the old peanut butter container had no peanut butter in it, so I had to go get the new one. So I start to peel all. I start to open it, and there's a seal on it. So I start to open the seal, and literally, like, just the worst thing possible happened in that instant. I tried to peel it off, and then it just tore. Like, it peeling was not a thing that happened. This you couldn't even call this peeling. You know, I just realized that was somewhat of an exaggeration because I think a lot of worse things could have happened in that situation. I mean, last or, not the least of which I could have just dropped the peanut butter. But because I was already in a shitty mood, I was disproportionately angry about this. So, um, I actually... <laughs> Long story short, after I had, like, separated all of the plastic from the peanut butter container, I ended up actually, um, and, you know, I made my sandwich finally, and then I ate it, but I ended up actually, I was so infuriated about this, I wrote a formal complaint to the, um, to the Costco customer service. Now, I, I'm gonna take a second here to actually, like, edit in a clip of me just, like, scrolling through the message that I sent, and, like, I'm if you want, you can pause it and read it, but if you don't want to do that, then I will read it afterwards, so just, just wait for a second, but, um, here. Okay, so, um, now let me just, um, deliver this to you for those of you who are too lazy. I'm not actually sure if this belongs in product information or general questions or suggestions, but the gist of what I'm about to say is that the containers for your Kirkland Signature peanut butter are horrendous. To clarify, the containing mechanism is perfectly fine. The hollow cylinder of transparent solid matter, also known as plastic, does a perfect job of keeping the peanut butter within a particular space so that it doesn't deform and stick to the fridge or kitchen counter. The problem is with the seal. Not that it doesn't work. Quite the opposite, in fact. It works too well. The tabs that you put on the seal, for the purpose of removing it so you can, you know, consume the peanut butter, they don't work. The seal will tear before it peels, so you end up having to tear it off, tear it off at, on the edges, making the whole process more annoying than necessary, as well as often more messy as the inner part of the seal has peanut butter on it, which will most of the time end up on my fingers when I remove it this way. It honestly wouldn't even be so bad if it was just up front about it and didn't even have the tabs. But the fact that they're there indicates that they should be functional. So when I end up having to remove it as if there weren't any, it's quite frankly just more, more infuriating. I always feel- I almost feel insulted every time I do it. Please correct this atrocity. Thanks for watching, be sure to like if you did, and hit the subscribe button so that I can be less pissy.